far too much hanky panky. So it's a pretty common scene in June that you're going to have all these Japanese beetles doing the thing on your, well, your rose bushes, your blueberries, your raspberries, your blackberries, your hazelnuts, pretty much everything. They're going to be everywhere. They're going to eat everything. So there's a couple ways you might want to deal with these Japanese beetles. One of which is simply you just find some and you stick your hand in there and you squint. <laughs> So maybe a better way of dealing with them might be to get sort of like a trap or something that you can lure them into. So there's two different trap types. Both of them work pretty much the same way. Here's the first type. So here you've got this kind of plastic bag hanging and there's this uh, four-way quadrant here and it comes with a little pack where you can stick this attractant on and the Japanese beetles fly in here and because they're notoriously bad flyers they come flying in they hit the side and they fall in and they go inside of the trap and if it'll focus you kind of see the bottom of the trap they uh, fall in there and then they get stuck and they can't get out second type of trap basically plastic bag similar to the other one same kind of a little uh, four-sided quadrant but the attractant is up in here and this is actually swappable you, know, you can keep this bag for multiple years and just buy a new attractant thing and stick it on the top here but this bag um, the way you use it it says at the bottom here open to empty beetles when full it's actually got a zipper lock on the bottom um, like a press on zipper lock but trust me I don't think you want to wait till this thing is full to empty it because uh, <laughs> it's gonna stink and it won't be good for what I'm gonna show you how to use these okay so what do you do with all these nasty Japanese beetles do you just leave them in these traps lying there to go bad and stink no you don't you use them for Japanese beetle smoothies oh my mouth is watering already what do you do tell me how you make these well you get a blend no you don't get a blender um, really all I'm gonna do so I'm going to unhook this trap, which I will do with two hands. So I'm going to put down the phone. Then you get a two gallon bucket of water and you just dump. You just dump it all in there. Look, ooh, caught a June bug too. It's okay if some of them have died. They'll still work in my smoothie. But who would eat such a smoothie, you ask? I'm glad you asked. This is who would eat them. A flock of chickens love Japanese beetles. Japanese beetles are their hot summer snack. Listen to that. I don't know, is it worth attracting a whole bunch of Japanese beetles to your property with these uh, lures and traps in order to feed them to your chickens? Like, does it make that big of a difference? Well, from my experience, I get the Japanese beetles in unbelievable droves, even without the traps. So for me, it's, a, it's just a matter of survival, honestly, just putting traps out. Um, the fact that I can feed them to the chickens is it's just kind of a bonus. I mean, it's a really great bonus. They seem to really think so, don't you? Oh yeah, they love it. They think it's the best thing. So is one of these traps better than the other? Um, not really, this, it's kind of six and a half of one of six and dozens of, they're both about the same, they work about the same. Um, I did find that uh, this trap here, because of the fact that the bottom can be unzipped, and opened up um, when I sent one of my kids out to empty one of these bags and they opened it up and dumped all the beetles out. They didn't actually close the bottom. And uh, so the bag was sitting there open for like two weeks out in the orchard 
and my orchard got pretty creamed because I was attracting beetles that I was not capturing, which is kind of defeating the whole purpose of it. So that is a danger with this. It, it's kind of handy that you can unzip the bottom of it and that you can reuse the traps for, you know, replacing the top. But there's also the kind of yucky factor of when you unzip the bottom and you dump them out, and then you go to zip it back, it's a it's a press close thing. You press it closed and there's almost always beetles that still get in there. So you kind of, and it's, it's kind of gross. But anyways, I'll put the links for these things in the description and you can, you can usually find these at your local hardware store, or lawn and garden store too. They're pretty ubiquitous.